Kevin, how you doing? I'm good, Tim. So good to be here at Girk Ski and Cycle. Kevin Dreher, owner of Ski and Cycle. He's been dealing with bikes for decades. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the more exciting uh, commuter e-bikes. This is the Vado SL from Specialized. And the thing that is striking to me about this is the weight. Yep. It really doesn't weigh very much. No, no, as a matter of fact, it's so lightweight and it's kind of like slim in its in its design that you wouldn't know it was an e-bike. I know, like, where, where, where's the battery? I know. Where's well, the battery? It's, it's all inside here. The motor is down here, the batteries in the down tube, and it's very sleek. It's built to be yeah. light, but it's also built to give you that performance that these turbos offer. This is a turbo. Yep. It's made by Specialized. Yep. Specialized has one of the best in the business in terms of their engines that they yep. make, right? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. They are, you know, one of a kind and they are, you know, built solid. They're built for performance. And again, getting to the SL, they're built to be light. You know, one of the complaints that I hear from a lot of people coming in the door is like, you know, how heavy is that bike? Because they got to transport it. They got to put it on their rack. They got to get it home. The whole reason for coming out with this bike is to make it as light as possible without sacrificing that performance you get out of the turbos. So it's about 40% lighter than the regular Vado that, you know, exists out there today. And it's plenty fast. So it's and, super fun. And so this one, if I'm going to be commuting to work back and yep. forth, it seems like a, a great option, especially if I have to carry it up a few steps yep. to get it chained or chained up or, or whatever. Right. What's my range and what's yep. my top speed? The top speed on this one is about 20 miles an hour, where okay. the regular Vado, you can go up to 28. But the 20 in this bike almost feels faster because of how lightweight it is. Now your range, they're gonna probably go more by hours with this one. You know, you can get about five hours of riding with it just because there's so many ver variables of up and down and that sort of thing. Okay, and um, just so people don't, you know, send in the comments. I mean, you're always welcome to yeah. send in the comments. Yeah. We always want to give you the range, yeah. but depending on your weight, yeah. depending on your terrain, yeah. that range is gonna be, it, it it's can gonna vary. change. It well, can what's, vary. what's the general, like give me the general. Well, you know, I, and, and again, I'll also get back to like the charge time because that's a good way yeah. to look at it. A lot of people are like, well, how long does it take to charge the bike? You know, if this thing were completely empty and you plugged it in, five hours, you're, you're gonna have full battery. Okay. Right? So that's kind of how that works. There's different ways you can approach that too. Think of it like your cell phone, for example. You know, how long does it take to charge your cell phone? Well, what do you do? You plug your phone in when you go to bed and you wake up in the morning and your phone's fully charged, right? So when you're done riding your bike, have your plug-in station there plug the bike in. The next time you're ready to ride it, guess what? You're gonna have full battery. Yeah. Okay, so Kevin, it takes about five hours to get that battery charged back mm -hmm. up. How far will this go? What is the range of yeah. this bike? So, you know, if you were riding on, on pretty, you know, flat terrain, let's say, the max is about 80 miles. You 80 know? miles. 80 miles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, if, if you're in a very hilly area. That's gonna yeah, vary. Yeah, It'll yeah. drop it down a little bit. It might bit. go down. But, yeah. you know, you have an indicator to yep. tell you how full your battery yep. is. Yep. You have this switch, so you can always turn it down if you're concerned yep. about making at home right. but if you have a distance that you're going to be commuting that's somewhere 80 miles or less you're going to be in pretty good shape here. absolutely you know now, talking about good shape yeah how's the pocketbook on this one like what is yeah what is our price point yeah. on on this one the Vado SL well so this is the Vado SL 4.0 EQ so EQ means it comes with the equipment the rack on the back it's got the fenders, it has lights. And this one's gonna come in at $4,000. $4,000, okay. And if it's not EQ, it's Yeah, you know, they can they can drop stuff. down in the $3,500 range and, and okay. then kind of go up from there. So, I mean, this is one of those things, go to your local bike shop, talk to them in terms of how you wanna outfit it. Always feel free to call the, yep. the team here at Gerks and they'll help you out. All of these uh, turbo bikes have adjustment where you can go full power, you can go, you know, less on your power, you know, and, and you do that so you can kind of conserve battery and that sort of thing too. And so with this one being light, if you ran completely dry in battery power, yep. Is it okay to pedal? That's the nice thing about this one compared to the others. Yeah. Yes, it, it's easier to pedal. If you do run out of power, you know, you can still get it home and, you know, not beat yourself up too bad. It comes with a kickstand. It kind of comes pretty stock. You could add like a basket on the front if you want that sort yeah. of thing, but it really depends on, you know, the user's needs. Okay. Right? So this is the Vado SL from Specialized. This is your lightweight commuter bike. It's going to give you somewhere between 40 and 60 miles, more than enough mm -hmm. to get yourself to the office and back. Yep. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much. Absolutely. You know, we're gonna check out a couple more bikes. We're gonna take the mountain bikes up to the hill. Yep. Yep. But the commuter, this is probably tops in its category. It's nice. This is the one you want to look at for 2023. Thank you so much. Please check out our other videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you real soon.